Come on, Lucky. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Hunting dogs are a huge part of my life. My dogs are my best friends. They're impressive athletes. They're loyal companions. And no matter if it's hunting season or not, I literally can't wait for the next time that I can turn them loose and take them hunting. I inherited this love of hunting dogs right from my dad. My dad is the most passionate dog man that I've ever met. He has always maintained a medium-sized kennel. And some of the best memories of my childhood are based around hunting dogs that we used to have, some of the legendary dogs that we used to have. We still talk about them. And going hunting with him um, really made me who I am today. For a lot of sportsmen, my story is very familiar. And, but to be fair, I love an encounter with a trophy class buck just as much as the next guy. However, hunting to me is more about watching a young dog grow into his prime, turning my dogs loose on a summer evening, or those cold February days when they're the only ones that will go hunting with me. Unfortunately, there are numerous organizations and groups that do not agree with or understand my passion. These groups make it their mission to impose hardships on guys like me that have hunting kennels and that they're not going to be happy until hunting with dogs is a relic of the past. The U.S. Sportsman's Alliance is constantly monitoring Congress and all the state legislatures for proposals that would affect sportsmen's ability to keep and hunt with dogs. These measures take many shapes. Some fly under the banner of regulating abusive, large-scale commercial puppy mills but instead they contain provisions that would harm small sporting dog owners like me. Others involve mandatory spaying and neutering or eliminating outdoor kenneling methods, and some are just flat out assaults on using dogs to hunt a particular species of game, like we've seen in California and Maine in recent years. We here at USSA monitor on average more than 75 dog bills every year. While dozens of bills related to dogs or dog kenneling standards continue to be introduced every year, USSA has worked to ensure that of the limited bills that have passed, none adversely impact hunting and sporting dog kennels. For me, these issues are very personal. I understand what's at stake in these measures because I live and breathe hunting dogs. Others might ask, why should I care about hunting dogs? I'm a hunter, but I've never had coon dogs or bird dogs, so why do these measures affect me? The answer is simple, and it's a message that is at the core of what we do here at USSA. All sportsmen must stand up for the rights of other sportsmen to pursue the outdoor passions that they choose. If we don't, we play right into the hands of those who relish every opportunity to chip away at our outdoor heritage. Today it's sporting dog owners that are under attack, but tomorrow it could be your passion. The U.S. Sportsman's Alliance will continue to fight on behalf of all sportsmen. Whether you hunt with a bow or a beagle, we're on your side.